guys welcome to another video so today's video is a foundation that I have already tried I picked up a new shade want to see if this shade matches me matches me more and this is the it cosmetic your skin but better foundation we'll see that's what I have going on right now if you want to see how it applies how this color really looks and all that good stuff make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys hi guys welcome to another video so you know when i'm up close like this we're doing something with a foundation or something so i tried about two or so months ago this it cosmetics foundation i had a sample and the shade i had a sample in was rich warm 52 that's rich to deep complexions with golden yellow undertones so I purchased from Ulta I wanted to try the foundation again because I absolutely love the sample I had and it was just enough for one use but this time I picked up rich warm 5 1.5 and that's dark tan complexion with yellow undertone so it's not as deep as the first one was and the box looks like this if you can see it And the foundation this is not looking like my shade <laughs> but this is how it looks and the reason why it says water light medium coverage natural radiant finish your skin but better foundation plus skincare improves bare skin within two weeks so I wanted to pick this up because you know going around now in the beauty community everything is stating to help your skin over time and I love the wear I love how this looked on my skin and it was $39.50 just after two weeks your skin looks smoother skin tone appears more even and skin texture is visibly refined okay all day hydration and wear with a natural radiant finish which if you're new to my channel I'm Ollie combo Ollie in this area right here depending on the season but I have been loving radiant foundations I find that towards the end of the day my skin still looks put together and it's not overly greasy and oily so I don't mind a radiant foundation with my oily skin now we're gonna get into that what I do to kind of like balance it out so I got my little thing and it comes with a pump which is good what is this one fluid ounce so that's the standard does it have it even on here yeah one fluid ounce so let me shake it up hopefully this is my color and as you can see it's uh yeah, it's kind of red they always say yellow undertones and it don't be i don't know i don't know if i've been looking at it wrong or it just looks that way in the beginning but no, I'm feeling like I want to mix this. I'm not going to mix it though. <laughs> We're going to try it as is. Let's try. That's, that's red. That's not. Where did they get that this was yellow? Thank you. 
Okay, so I have a radiant foundation, but I'm gonna take a matte concealer, and this is in Mocha. Too Faced Born This Way Mocha to conceal with. And this I find helps balance out everything that would be extremely ollie, ollie, ollie. At the end of the day, it helps. I'm gonna just take, well, let me put some here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of sand because sand is like extra bright. I always say, oh, I don't wanna go bright. I don't wanna go bright, I don't wanna go bright. And then when I get there, I don't wanna be there. I always still end up being bright. <laughs> oh, yeah. My thing, I'm going to set with this ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Banana. That I've been loving lately. I can't even really see it. And this is oh, this is old. Nothing's new about this powder. But it just it gives no filter like it says. I think the highlight in the putting powder on is my favorite part of makeup, of doing my makeup. Okay guys, I am back and this is how my face is looking. I want you guys to tell me in the comments below if you think that this is my shade. While I was applying it, applying it I felt that it was kind of red, but as it... Since it has been sitting on my skin, I feel like it has been it has become my skin tone. Not quite sure. It still looks kind of red to me. I don't mind the darkness. I like to be dark, so I don't mind the darkness of it. I don't know. Y'all let me know so I'll know if I need to take this back or not. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have to do a wear test because there's already a video on my channel with this foundation and a wear test. Like I say, I love the way it wears, so that was never an issue. It was just the color. Why am I talking like this? Because I'm trying not to mess up my lipstick. I don't know. So y'all let me know. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.